All right, it looks like we are live. Welcome to ASMTG and the birthday stream. <laughs> Welcome, let me hear it in chat. Who is here? So I think I might have also made a mistake. So I put in the comments that I'll do that random picker, but for some reason, it doesn't seem to be working for chat. Right, I think it looks it... like we are live. Welcome to ASMTG oh my goodness. Why and is there the feedback? birthday stream. <laughs> Welcome, let me hear it um, in chat. Who is here? So sorry, I think everybody, I just give me a second. Mistake, so I put in the comments. Oh, do that that's why. Picker, Duh. For some reason, it doesn't seem to be working for chat. Right, I think it's it like we are live. Welcome to ASMTG. Oh my goodness, why is there feedback? Birthday stream. <laughs> Welcome, let me hear it. Um, all right, there we go. All right, sorry about that. Had the wrong thing open. Mm -hmm. Little errors when I go live here. Uh, no, don't want that. Don't want that. Got to bring my comments back. All right, there we go. Now we're ready to go. Sorry about that, everybody. So this is my uh, little picker. And unfortunately, it only does it from comments. It won't do it from chat. So I'm going to have to figure that out. We're going to have to figure this out live as we're going. <clears throat> Benny combo. <laughs> All right. So let me take a look. Is there any way uh content let's see we're live right now can we leave comments on this live stream instead of just chat um so i'm not seeing any way shoot there goes my entire plan i had everybody <laughs> so Somebody's gonna have to let me know, how are we gonna choose the random people to actually be playing today? So, happy birthday, thank you so much everybody. All right, so today I would love to get just a few matches in when I'm just sitting here, just playing, getting some mythic matches. Then I would absolutely love to get some of those challenge matches. And again, I want it to be random. My whole idea is we have 1,000 subs. This is a big thank you to every single person out there. So I wanna at least be able to give something away. So I have some arena code packs that I went and bought yesterday. So you'll be able to get six packs of Wilds of Eldrain for the first person who beats me in a challenge match. And and then we'll do that until two people beat me. However, we're gonna treat this kind of like a kumite. So if you are the person who gets to challenge me, then I get to pick what the challenge is. Now, maybe you can entice me and you could choose something on your own that's really gonna get me going. Just let me check these comments. May take longer. Okay, draw names from the hat. I like that. So right now we only got one. Dominic from Germany, right? He's the one who's put in a challenge. So if for some reason I can't get that little comment thing to work, man, that's really annoying. If anybody out there knows, how do I randomly select comments from chat? Because everything I've looked up and every random generator that I've done is only from the comments, not chat. So on my big Monday winner, so just letting you know, there's another live stream at 2 p.m. Pacific time. If you go to that, I guess you can't go to that. After it airs, if you go to that and you leave an actual comment, and I believe the comment was just... Hmm, I have to double check. It says in the comments, I think I put a happy birthday or I put birthday and then I'll do the random thing from that. And then my grand prize winner on Monday during my video, I'm going to actually do that random generator and you will win 24 packs. So you're gonna get six packs from our last four sets that we have and only the standard legal ones. So none of the Lord of the Rings packs because I know a lot of you don't play alchemy or historic. So I want the standard legal ones. I just asked Google, but I didn't find a solution. Yeah, I, I couldn't either. Yeah, birthday and comment. That, that, that's what it's going to be on my one for later for my grand prize winner. So quick in chat, we could do, Dominic and I, we could do our first challenge since nobody else put challenge, or we could go and we could jump on, play a couple games out there in Mythic. Let's hear from everybody who's out there. We got eight viewers right now, so not too many. So hopefully some more will come in. I'm seeing a lot of my regulars though, which I absolutely love. Thank you all for joining me. And yes, today is actually my birthday. You can throw in comments how old you actually think I am. Dominic picks. All right, yeah, Dominic, you, your call right now. Do you wanna do the challenge now or would you just want to do some uh, mythic gameplay right now? 
Super fast tortoise, thank you so much. Jumping on, even though he's got his live going right now as well. Mono white to the ladder. <laughs> 21, I wish, man. 21, that'd be the dream, right? Uh, just need to tell me what to do. We're playing. Okay, if we're playing a challenge match, so let's add friend. You can just give me your. Uh, you could just type in my code right here. You can see it up on the screen. And then when I get that challenge match from you. Now, you have to either entice me with the challenge, saying what it's going to be, or I get to pick. So I might pick, you have to play a certain type of deck. I might pick, we're playing a deck that has no rares in it. We have to play some type of combo deck. So I will get to pick the challenge unless you got something for me. Uh, it's not possible on YouTube. Yeah, man, that sucks. All right, yeah, so that's... We'll, we'll just have to do this old-fashioned way, I guess. So right now, we only have the one challenger. So, I mean, if more people challenge later, then I'll have to just write it down, and we'll just do a name out of a hat type of a thing. All right, so Dominic wants the challenge. So now I just need to hear from you... Do you have a challenge for me, or do you want me to tell you what the challenge is going to be? Sorry, we're going to have a little... Actually, let's jump on and just play one game. We'll... Okay, here we go. I would like to have a normal best of one standard match. Okay, Dominic, next question. How are your rares and mythics? Can you craft any deck you want? Because if so, I have a specific challenge I want. Yeah, yeah, Colton, actually, I was thinking of that as well. I was just going to do, um, whoever wanted it, I would sign each person number. You could show your friend's code again. Oh, oh, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. All right, here it is. AceMTG, hashtag 22780. Ooh, 10 rare, 21 mythic. All right. So, you have a deck, though, that you're ready to go with that you love? I suppose I'll let the first one slide, and I won't make you do a certain challenge. Well, we're on stream, by the way. I got my, you know, it's my birthday, so fancy wine glass, but just some water. On the chat box, you can see the last chatters that were active in the past 15 minute period. All right, regular tier one deck. All right, so leave it up to chat then. Thank you so much, Cookie and Dreams. Thank you for joining. So leave it up to chat. What do you want me to play? All right, so he says he wants a best of one. We got a tier list. We got lots of stuff we could go with. Oops, 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 oops. We got the Cauldron deck that is making its way around worlds right now. We got Jung, Gagari, obviously. I've been working on these reanimator ones that have just been sucking. So really what I wanted, I think the message in the chat arrived with some second delay on your, oh yeah, yeah. So I don't know why, I can't figure it out. There's some delay on things. So like I read a message after the chat, things like that. It's a, it's a little delayed. Enchantments or ramp? Okay, I, okay, I'm ready. I know what I'm playing. We're, we're going to do it. All right. So, oh, there it is. Dominic, this is, uh, wait, where did you just go? I just, this is you? All right. So, direct challenge, six card, best one, coin flip. And Dominic, can you confirm if this is actually you? I know there's a few seconds here. Ready to? Okay. Okay, sweet. Okay, so send out that challenge. Yeah, I would love to figure out a way to make it to, when it says live, it's actually live, because I hate how the comments are off and things like that. So hopefully Dominic will get this challenge sent over. See, because everywhere I look, viewer activity, stream health, stream, oh, stream settings. 
Uh, let's see. Enable auto start. Close captions. Yeah. Okay. So he's ready. Let me get my deck. All right. We're, we're going with our little combo invasion ramp. Just because it was called out in chat, they wanted to see it. Yeah, theory is the delays on purpose. I mean, that's fine that they do on purpose. Oh boy, that's not fantastic. I don't think I could keep a two lander here. Yeah, we're gonna mulligan that. All right, we'll, we'll keep this. We got the herd migration. So yes, obviously, any of you are gonna have a little bit of an advantage because you get to actually see my hand. Granted, if we do have that 30 second delay, good for me. All right, we're gonna keep six. We'll go ahead and drop off one of our virtues. Uh, let's see, we'll go and get you down. All right, so again, so Dominic right now, if he wins this game, I will be sending him a code for six packs of Wild of Eldraine. Skrelv, well, aren't you annoying? Uh, yeah, we're gonna just take care of the Skrell right now. Dominic, how could you beat me with my favorite color and my favorite deck? I, I don't appreciate this. Oh, and Athalia. Oh, you dirty one. All right. All right, we'll get this down. Still could take care of Athalia now, so we'll, we'll, we'll wait. Let's see if he drops something like an Adeline right now. If he drops a Peacekeeper on me, we'll have to get rid of the Thalia. Okay, we can live with that. Okay, nice. Selesnia. We'll go ahead and take care of Thalia now that you're tapped out. Yeah, not having my my invasion in my hand does suck without question. I think I'm going to save this right now. We might need to just cycle it to draw a card. Yeah, because I have to find my invasion. Let's just check on our colors. We got red there. Black. All right, we'll go right there. Instead of actually discarding this, I... Oh, man. Just not looking pretty for us right now. Not the good hand, folks. And the thing is with this five color invasion deck, you don't even run any sweepers. So if he does get that big board on us, our only chance is to pop off, which is the risky thing with this deck. It's just funny, every time I go against it, I'm gonna go ahead and pop this birthday hat off. We got our quick little celebration. If I get the win, I'll celebrate some more. So let's see, six mana available. Could start growing his creatures. Three cards in hand though, pretty sure. Okay, adversary. All right, we're gonna have to start taking a little bit of pain. Gonna definitely pop this though right now. We, we, we have to find something. Otherwise our clock is just too short. All right, just cycle now. I mean, there's a chance maybe, okay. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh, I don't have the lands. What am I missing? What am I missing? Okay, folks, things just got interesting. Um, all right, so we have the white, we have the blue, we have the black, we have the red. Oh, but then the green, shoot. Okay. All right, so we pass for right now. We take the hit, we invasion next turn. The turn after that, we could at least use our Desecrator. So here's the big problem where I actually, yeah, I'm gonna say it. If he has a Thalia, I ran into this when I was actually playing this deck for fun. So when you play 
Alora or there are invasion, let's say they have a Thalia down. You play it on turn six. The problem is you need to now use the sorcery side of your Bramble, and then you would have to pay the one for the tax on the Thalia. So Thalia really is a big crimp in the whole game plan of this deck. Number one, not getting this down on turn four is huge. Yeah, a mountain or a forest. So, I mean, we kind of needed to cycle that anyway to draw that extra card, but then not having that down caused us, I guess it all would have worked out the exact same. All right. So at least we're going to bump up three. Okay. So looking, oh, why, why not the attack there? Right. You can't attack because it's got summoning sickness. So all you actually have available is five mana. All right. Don't know your last card, but I feel like maybe you're... Okay, that's why. Good call. Nope. Uh, so discard this, find our forest. Yeah, that's true. That would have been better. If I knew the invasion was coming, obviously, I would have done that. All right, we'll go ahead and take a green. All right, so let's see if he finds two cards with it. He does, and he finds the adversary, which is going to be a huge pump for the squad. All right, we need a big hit. We have to hit the Desecrator here. It's Desecrator or Bust. After, so, yes. And now this is where we have to hit the Desecrator. Oh, I didn't see it, but we did... Oh man, that's just, that, that's just dead. We're just dead. All right, yeah, that's a bust. This is not gonna give us anything. We'll get a raccoon so we at least have a blocker. And then they, well, is it lethal? We'll block the adversary. And then that's gonna be six, 10. Yeah, that's lethal. GG's. All right, so if we played it differently, if no, because, okay. So we could have done our herd migration. We could have cycled that to find the land, but then our deck gets shuffled. So now invasion no longer would have been our top card. So. All right, so we have our first winner who I will be sending him his code later on because I don't want anybody else to see it and be able to snag that. <laughs> Just our inevitable. That's it, man. Game over, man. It's game over. All right, swinging in. Gives me the exacts right there. All right, so let's keep this going. So my hope was I would get a few more matches in before I had to start giving some packs away because I only have two of those codes to give out for this stream and I have two more for later. And then like I said, the big one though is going to be the one that I announce on Monday. So you're gonna have to leave comments that my stream I do at two o'clock, you're gonna have to actually leave a legit comment on that after it's posted and then if and then on Monday, I will actually do the generator and you'll see in my video right beforehand who wins and that person's gonna be getting those 24 packs. All right, good job. What is my thought on the enchantment deck? So I, in my opinion, we have, we have two types of enchantment decks. So let me, do I still have them even in here? I have so many decks going on right now and things I've been trying to play with. 
All right, so we have more what I would call the mid-range style deck and maybe the more successful one. So where you're sitting there running the hollowed hauntings and then you're just flooding that field, bunch of spirits. I think this one is a little bit just more sustainable to a lot of sweepers. Obviously, all of them absolutely just die to any type of farewell. But I think this one is much better in best of three. The other version of this that doesn't have hollowed hauntings, I think is just a little bit quicker. And that one maybe is a little bit better suited for best of one, but both I think are fantastic decks, like top notch style decks. Oh yeah, so unfortunately with that ramp with the invasion one, there, there's no sweepers. The regular one, yeah, yeah, lots of sweepers would have done it. All right, so again, Dominic, like I said, you'll be getting those uh, six packs later on, maybe off stream, and I don't know the best way to message you. Uh, I could do it through Arena, right? We could come in here and you could actually start messaging people that way. I might just message you that way so you'll see it in there. And then let me know when you've redeemed the code and make sure it all works. I just don't want to put it now because obviously, right, everybody could see. Oh, nice, Dominic. 279 in Mythic with that deck. Awesome. All right. So we're either going to jump on the ladder or... Next challenge, okay, this, this is my Kumite challenge to you out there. You have to build a deck that uses no rares or mythics. It's only gonna be commons and uncommons, but you could use as many rare lands as you want. So whoever in the comments now lets me know that's what you want as your challenge, we're gonna do that challenge match. Oh no, so yeah, if you're playing best of one, I actually think that aggro one is a little bit quicker and a little bit better suited for best of one when we're talking about that enchantment deck. The other one, I, I love. I think it's great, it's fantastic. It's got those legs, right? It could keep going on. But in best of one, if you're sitting there and you're playing against mono red right now, you probably do not have turn four where you drop an enchantment and the entire turn you have to take off. Holy cow, Colton, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. Thank you so much for the donation. Much appreciated. Hype and chat for Colton right there. Thank you so much. I appreciate every donation. Also, as we're just waiting to see if anybody, we have any takers. In one month, so on Wednesday, I finally got monetized. Thank you so much. That's one of the reasons you were here. Yes, it's the birthday stream, but it's also a thank you to every single person out there for all the support you've given me for the past month. And so in a month, what I wanna do is I wanna show you kind of the analytics, the back end side. What do I actually earn in a month on YouTube monetization? Because I'm super curious, I have no clue. They've so far, they showed me one day and I think I made $1.99, okay? so. Again, I don't know what it's gonna be after a whole month of earnings, because that first day wasn't a full day. So who knows, maybe I'm making $5 a day on YouTube, things like that. We'll have to wait and see. But I wanna show everybody, I'm pretty open. So I like to show all the analytics, the back end stuff. If you ever have a question, feel free to ask me. I pretty much answer anything. I try and be as open as possible. All right, so Colton says he'll take the challenge if nobody else will. Okay, so Colton, you just put in chat, let me know when you have your deck all set up and you have only commons and uncommons, but you could, for lands, you could use any rares that you want, okay? Once you have that deck set up, let me know and then we'll go and do a challenge. Until then, let's get a little gameplay. All right, standard ranked. What do we want? We could go Mono red, obviously. I got my mega ramp deck I'm building. Uh, probably gonna be a video for October. We have Jung, Gari. This is a video for next week, a little bit of Goosey Ramp. We're gonna have uh, some Pia tokens next week as well. Does anybody have anything they would like to see in Mythic? Unfortunately, this week, my rank went down a bit because I've been play testing so many things. I was in top 200 for most of the month. And then I was hammering this Rakdos reanimator and Jung reanimator, I cannot get these things to work. And my rank is like 1200 now, I think. MTG player I've seen. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I... All right, uh, maybe I'll just go with something I'm feeling. I had a fan 
actually kind of want to see this deck. I have never played it. He sent me a list. Let's go ahead and take a peek at it. We'll do at least one game with this. So he said he wanted to see it on the channel at some point. And I was like, all right, I'll give it a shot. Never played it. We'll test it out. Ab Abzan looks. And, okay, good. I'm so happy we picked that. All right, so right, we want early interaction. We're in an aggro meta right now. I cannot go without four copies of Elspeth Smite. We only got two copies of Go for the Throat because we're hoping turn three, we're locking stuff down. And then the whole idea here is our Takashio's Welcome, producing creatures with all of our different Planeswalkers. If need be, turn five, we sunfall it all out there. Okay, oh, actually... Uh, let's go to our mail really quick because I think we get a little reward, right? Has everybody been signing into Arena every day? If you have not been, they're doing their anniversary thing and so you get to claim a little prize every day. It's usually just a pat. All right, we'll take it. We'll take those wild cards, right? Bump up that collection. All right, back to where we were. Asban on the ladder, waiting for Colton to make his common uncommon deck. Standard rank, Asban, here we go. So let's test this out. This is literally my first game with this deck. Never played with it before. Somebody asked, they wanted to see an Asban Planeswalker style deck. And so I was like, all right, this is what I've put together so far. All right, Donna, you, you have a deck list? If you, um, so unfortunately, the other problem, again, there's so many things, uh, we're gonna keep this though. Uh, pretty sucky, but we're gonna keep it. So the thing that I hate about the YouTube actual chat too is when we're live, you're only limited to 200 characters. So you can't even post an entire deck list. So if you have a link that I could go to your deck list and then we'll just make a copy of it, we'll play that one out too. You got two draft tokens? I thought I only got one. I'll have to double check that. Okay, Takashio's welcome first or wedding announcement? That is the question. I think we just get the wedding announcement taken first. All right, so it looks like we got some Gagari right now. Oh, Glissa, that you're a little pain in my butt. All right, so we will have some chumpers. So I'm gonna go to Takashio's welcome before we just hold up our Elspeth to kill Glissa. The reason for that is we need to draw some cards, we need some more land, and we know we'll have two blockers. Good chance you're gonna kill one, hope they don't kill two. Yeah, getting that draft token the other day though, I was pumped on that, but I'll have to double check. Let's check that after this game, because I really wanna see, do I actually have two draft tokens? I would love some free drafts. See if they just, yep, yeah, there's one. Do they have the second kill spell to get rid of my enchantments? They do, all right. So let's see what they pick. I'll assume Takashio is welcome. Yep, they do. All right, so lucky for us, we have a second in store. So we're gonna bring it down and then we have our Elspeth Smite to actually get rid of their Glissa. At my side, it's very pixelated. Let me know anybody else. Is my stream right now pixelated for you? Do I have a little bit of lag going on? I just upgraded my internet again yesterday too. So I'm going with, uh, I believe I have 1200 megabytes now and 200 for the upload. All right, we're going waiting announcement again. All right, now we're starting to cook. I'm feeling pretty safe with this game now. Streaming looks good, thank you. Goblin messages. All right, so we got another thing to take care of their Glissa. And then after that, we'll have the Wandering Emperor to start cleaning stuff up. Impressively, we might not even need our Sunfall. All right. I love the fact, though, Glissa now finally has a home to shine. All right, so we're going to get our Ren down here, I think. Tough call, though. No, we need mana efficiency. Double striker. It'll be a 3-3 double striker. 
Yeah, we're gonna go mana efficiency with this one because if we get another land, then we'll be able to go Ren and hold up the Wandering Emperor. All right, no attacks. Unfortunately, no double draws here. Uh, a little of the wine glass. Sorry, I don't usually take a sip on any of my videos. And some people ask me, why in my videos are they not just one straight thing? Why do I have those little breaks in between them? It's because in between games, I might go to the bathroom, I might grab a snack, things like that. But I appreciate everybody in the comments who's actually said that you like to see all my games and you could tell that I'm not sitting there trying to hide things. Because if you look, my ranking, right? When it ends one game, the next game it picks up. Because other people have tried to claim I'm cherry picking, I'm only showing my wins and losses. If that was the case, everybody out there who's actually watched my videos, you've seen my bumbling mistakes I've made at certain times. Believe me, I would be cutting things out like that. But I'm always trying to be as honest as possible, showing you a little bit of everything. All right, so I wanna just double drop here. We just wanna just keep building this massive board. They don't have any sweepers. Right, and we want to plus this up too, this even though we don't get our, our land. At. Then we must win. All right, we're going to pass. Buy us more time. So we're going to get another wedding announcement to flip here. All right, so they find a Sheldred. So that's at least going to put us on a clock where we're going to have to do something. I mean, a bunch of 4-4 four, four double strikers, though, are going to be able to end this thing pretty quick. All right, so I think this game's underhand. I think this Abzan deck, this might be nice. This might be a video. So I actually, just to let you all know, because you're all here. <laughs> uh, so next week, I already filmed three of my videos. Uh, go and draw. And then my plan is Monday and Tuesday, I want to do two of the decks that we actually see in the World Championship. So whatever wins, that'll be one of the decks. And I wanna do a best of one game and then a best of three game with that deck. And so I would like probably the, whatever deck wins the championship and whatever second place or whatever in the top eight I think is most interesting, make a video of that. And so those will be my videos for next week. It's just next week is so crazy for me. I'm gonna go out of town too on Friday for the weekend. My girlfriend's taking me concerts, visiting my brother, my mom. We're gonna do an escape room, all sorts of fun stuff. Uh, let's start here. I guess I could just, I, yeah, I should have bounced Sheldred. That was a mistake. Bouncing Sheldred was definitely the play. Um, it's just gonna be a, yeah, we'll go here. That's five. My voice beckons to all worlds. We're gonna swing in like this. Wandering Emperor is gonna give first strike. I can't imagine them throwing their Sheldred in here. Okay. So Wandering Emperor will bump this up to a five-five double striker. Remember your training. All right, next turn, we're just going to swing all in for this victory. Colton, I haven't seen it in the chat. You got your deck up yet? Look at our super friends package. So this is definitely a deck where once you get going, it's over. And this Gagari is a fantastic matchup for it, right? Gagari's a little slower. It's sitting there trying to kill tons of creatures, and then it outscales you. Does well against, you know, your mono white occasionally, your mono red. It does okay against some control decks. All right, almost done. Sweet. All right, but in a matchup like this, just absolutely brutal for them. We got our kill spell too. There's part of me for the content play. I just want to sunfall. Okay, there we go. I want to sunfall this whole board and swing in with my one big token. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I mean. I, I mean, yes, it's still fine ranking, but I was high for quite a long time. So a damn reanim reanimator deck. 
Yeah, Ren, Ren is actually surprising me. I've been trying it out in a few different decks and it's actually been doing really well. Where when I first saw that card, I did not think it was that great. Even though every time you see a Planeswalker for only three mana, you really gotta look at it. There's not many three mana Planeswalkers that just don't see play at all that are just absolute garbage. Typically, they're pretty good. Uh, any other deck we wanna see? Just, oh wait, uh, that's what it, Dominic said he'll have one. I'll just need a link for that one. Uh, any other deck we want to see up on the ladder before we get Colton in our head-to-head? -head? And again, sorry about this little delay. Let me go back to some decks. If you just want to take a peek if there was anything you wanted to see. So these are the ones uh, next week. We got a Mice Combo. We got Goose Ramp and the Pia. Those are the three I've recorded. Will you play in the qualifier play-in? Yeah, so I want to actually try and do more of those qualifier play-ins. I had never done them before. I was not a fan, though, of that last one that we did. Um, what was that? The sealed? Yeah, sealed, I'm just not the biggest fan of. It's not good, but it's funny. Okay. Any tips for avoiding tilt? My biggest thing for avoiding tilt is we're, we're playing the game right? We're here having fun. That's the way I look at it every single time. This is what I'm doing for my enjoyment, okay? So, I mean, that goes in all things. I just, I don't know. I don't get that stressed about things or too upset when I'm doing the things I absolutely love. So, this is something I love. I have so much fun with it. Bad things are going to happen sometimes, right? I get that top deck and something amazing happens. So, I just have to look at it that way always. And part of it for me always was a little bit like in jiu-jitsu and competing. I wrestled before. I was always playing sports. I never got too high. I never got too low. Like, I won the Gracie Worlds. I've won the U.S. Open for jiu-jitsu. I've won some big tournaments. And literally, when I win, like, you don't see me freaking out. But when I lose too, I'm not super depressed. I don't know. I've just always kind of been like fairly mellow. So with, with, with the tilts, it's hard for me to say. I just say that's the thing you're doing for fun. That's what you're doing for passion. Enjoy it. Laugh about it. I mean, that, that's the best advice I could say with that. Oh, this one is also sealed? Oh, man. Okay. So, yeah, if it's sealed again, I don't think I have interest in that. That just seemed like such a crapshoot to me. Like, you open it up, and that's what you're stuck with. Some people got those absolute bomb rares, and then others, just not much. Yeah, the investment in rank. Yeah, no, I get it. Like, it, it's hard. Like, I went on a slide the other day when I was trying out this uh, Rakdos Reanimator, which I have literally changed 15 times. You guys could take a look at it. Tell me what else to change. So World Championships, they're doing Rakdos Reanimator, but they're just going to Troxa. I really want, and again, I know there's better Reanimator ones, but my goal with my Reanimator is I'm trying to make this Lich Knight's Conquest actually work and hit for a few different things. I love the Flesh Scourger on turn three because you could actually sack the Flesh Scourger and it comes back as a 7-5, right? And then I'm trying to get all my other little big bombs in the yard. So all sorts of, okay. Oh, oh we got our challenge match. All right, let's go. We're going to get that going. We'll get back to that. But sometimes when I, I get paired against Mono Red three times in a row, yeah. So I actually have gone against Mono Red literally six times or eight times like in a row and yeah, it, it does get tough. So what happens when I get paired like that constantly with this one deck that just keeps beating me? <laughs> uh, when, when, when somebody just keeps beating me with that exact same deck, I then switch. So when mono red beats me, I go to mono white, but I make it completely, oh, bummer. No white. Oh, this is a killer debt hand if we have white though. All right, we're gonna mulligan and the no creatures. All right, uh, we need the red, we'll, we'll ditch the land. We could live off of only. All right, we, we might just get beat up by all of you guys out there today. I'm <laughs> just not drawn well. All right, pass. This deck is so much fun to play with too. So this actually might be, oh, you missed something? No creatures, come on. All right, might see me on tilt here. Lich Knights is so bad, <laughs> obviously rare, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we we have nothing we're gonna do if you're gonna go big on me. 
We just need one creature. Yes, I'm sure we need to draw some cards. Ugh. I guess I should have kept that first hand and just hoped we got a planes because that first hand was exactly what I wanted to be doing. Uh, you and permission control prevent all damage that black or red sources. All right, at least that'll be good for late game here. So growing. Nice little combo there. I like that. That was sweet. And audacity. Well. All right, you just put us on the clock. All right, my turn. Okay, now we're cooking, folks. Now you get to feel the full power. Now witness the firepower of this fully armed and operational battle station. Colton, you better be taking your own advice. You better not peep in on this channel right now to see what I'm doing. Yep. I think we'll go here first. Ditch the swift spear. We will take that. All right, so now we've prevented an attack right now. Pass. Unless he's a madman and he swings in. All right, so my turn. All right, let's get our trample on. <laughs> yes, that's right, Palpatine's voice. Whoa, <laughs> I love that one. All right, you want to tail swipe me? Resolve. Ditching you. Oh, baby. All right, so we got four there. Do we, I think we do, let's see, that's seven. These are at instant speed, so let's swing in. Again, if he's actually watching this live, he's gonna throw a chump blocker here. But if he doesn't block, he's just dead. Ditch you. Monstrous Rage. Auto pay. GG's. Boom! Takes it down. <laughs> so that's the fun with it. I can't help it. The Virtuoso is one of those cards I absolutely won. I win in your face! <laughs> All right. Home team gets one, folks. All right, so we still need another challenger out there. We still have one more code to be giving away. So my next challenge for any takers, you get to choose between Jung, Gagari, or Grixis. You have to choose one of those. Payback from the monogreen the other day. <laughs> Touche. Oh, I know. Monstrous Rage is absolutely disgusting. That should have been on the top 10 list for this whole set. Okay, so once again, though, anybody else who wants a challenge match, potential to win six packs of Wilds Eldraine. I will send you the code for the next person who beats me. But you have to play either Jung, Gagari, or Grixis. And you tell me which one that you pick, and then I will pick one of the other ones. So we'll see if we have any takers in the chat in the next few seconds as I go ahead and go talk about this reanimator deck that is garbage. So yeah, 
I know lynch nights is not the greatest thing, but I want it to pop off. And when it pops off, it's so fun. If you watched yesterday's video with the moon shaker, right? When that thing pops off, you have fun. And sometimes for magic, right? That's all you want. I'm looking for that fun, exciting thing. When you do the thing, you feel good about yourself. You're super excited. And that's what this one is about as well. Now, as far as the field bads though, I think I lost like seven straight games. Mono red was just slaughtering me. And then I was like, oh, I saw a green land. And then it just ended up being gruel and that's basically mono red and they slaughtered me too. It was just a little too slow. Uh, so I added in more two drops. The problem is I don't have any removal, okay? That's because I'm trying to do the big thing. If I wanna make the deck better, of course, I'm gonna add in some removal and then yeah, it'll probably have a slightly bigger win percentage, but it doesn't give me that fun factor as much. So that's why I'm doing this one right now. I never drew any of my good removal. <laughs> Had a little bit of protection though that game too. I was just worried I wasn't gonna draw a creature. My first hand, I had great creatures. All right, so, so still no takers. That means we're gonna have to hop back on the ladder. So remember, Gagari, Jung, or Grixis. You have to play one of those three. I play the other one. All right, so anybody, what do we wanna see? Do we actually, let's try that Asban on the ladder again. I wanna see how that actually does. We were pretty successful that first game. We got a perfect matchup for ourselves. Oh, also in chat, I wanna hear, anybody watch the Worlds yesterday? What decks have you been liking? What do you think is gonna make it? If you got a jung list, you wanna do it, let's run it. I mean, all right, tap land first. We're hoping turn three, maybe the Ren. All right, so we're going tap land again. Let's see if we have five color invasion. We got a rank 495, okay. Now's the pause. We we don't have the mana for Ren anyway, but even if we did, we wouldn't play it out right now. Make disappear is very possible. So because I have two wedding announcements, we could go ahead and lose one of them. Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Yeah, see, like we said, make disappear. We have to expect that. So that's why we, okay, another one now. You would like the mana efficiency, but Soren is a little bit more important, important if we're in Esper control right now. So we'll go wedding announcement one more time. Okay, so that one landed. Now Takashio's Welcome is actually the most important card for our deck. We need to get this consistent card draw. That's the only way we're gonna be able to take the advantage in this matchup. Okay, they go Sheldron, interesting. All right, we draw. All right, so we are looking to Sunfall now. I think Takashio is more important than Soren. Yeah, I'm gonna go Takashio's Welcome. We're gonna take a little bit of pain from Sheldred because of it. No attack. But we need, okay, we found the land. I guess we do have to be very careful though. If they have an actual counter, because if they counter our Sunfall, then we're in really bad shape. All right, that's fine. We're gonna do our chumpers. Oh, please use another kill spell. Okay, beautiful. So now we don't have to worry. Now we can sunfall, no issue. Ooh, now we have an issue. <laughs> right? Okay, resolve. All right, if this doesn't hit, we're in trouble. All right, now we now we have things now we have things rolling, right? We got the Eternal Wanderer. We can get down next turn. Once Kai hits the battlefield, we're in great shape. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> Mono Red takes it home. That's what we're going for. Uh, two, six. So we're waiting for seven. We could double drop two Planeswalkers. So we're gonna go Eternal Wanderer. They have the mana for their Deluge. I think we might have turned our corner for this game as well. Show them 
the edge of your blade. Especially if we get Kaya down, that's gonna be tough for him. They are gonna have a hard time dealing with our planeswalkers. Okay, they have a wandering emperor. Anyone who harms my people, so they could do three damage to this, start getting mites going as well. See, Colton, honorable man. He said he wouldn't do it. Got the edge in this fight. Okay, yeah, I'll put my double striker there. That's fine. Okay, so we're just gonna get more on this battlefield. Use this land. Go ahead, get a life linker out. Draw our card. You. Deal with this annoyance. Um. Yeah, let's just exile you. Just get rid of you. Just don't even want to mess with it. And we'll get Ren down as well. Get the whole Super Friends package. And there it is. That's two. Taking it home. Okay, this deck is looking good. See, this is an example of, I, I've been doing really well in stream. You guys have been nothing but good luck to me. Our last live stream, we went nine and two with Mono Red. We did um, Anvil, where we went six and two, right? Our rank just kept climbing up. And this deck, my first two games with it, we win both of them. Yeah, pr pretty much. A little Abzan Super Friends is kind of what I'm going with, with on that one. Um, let's see. Cookies and Dreams. Didn't you say you had your deck? You, you have a jung list? Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Request. Roaming Boss. Is Roaming Boss still out there? Let me know. Where, where, where did you go? Oh, he's offline. Okay. Unfortunately. Cookies and Dreams, though, if you send out that challenge, we'll, we'll do it right now. Uh, friends, I don't remember if you're on the friends list or not. So here's my code. You could go ahead and send me. And you said you had Jund. Uh, what do I want to go with? I think I'm going to try. Go, uh, I'll go Grixis then. I'll go Grixis. Okay, yeah. Uh, I'm going to leave this up for one second, just so Cookies and Dreams could get it. All right, we're going to go to that deck so everybody could see that Abzan one. Good chance, everybody. You're going to see this as a video coming up. No, Now, remember, if the video does poorly, we just went 2-0 with it. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and screen grab that. I'll leave this up for a second so you could take a look. Again, these were my first two games, so I'm not saying this is a final version of everything. I gave a little bit of my rundown a little earlier. I have to have these, right? In our first game, we took care of uh, two Glissas with this. Mono Red, this is gonna be crucial. Couple cut, or go for the throats, because we're looking turn three, potentially having our lockdown, turn five, our Sunfall, and then if we're ever against any type of control, the Takashio's welcome. That's our value train to just keep everything rolling, so. It looks like a pretty good build, but I just, I mean, if we're talking about Mythic, if we're talking about the ladder right now, there's so much aggro out there. And we didn't get to go against aggro yet. We got Control and we got Gagari. And I think those are actually decent matchups for us. So it definitely needs to be tested with that aggro. And who knows, you could get run over by Mono Red over and over again with this one. So not saying it's the best thing out there. All right. Oh wait, did I just see that challenge? Okay. Cookies and Dream, you said this was you, right? All right, accept. And you got Jund, so we're going to try out Grixis. All right, here we go. So, unfortunately, if Cookies and Dreams beats me right now, that will be my last code I have for this stream. You'll have to come back at two. Cheers, everybody out there. I'll have that um, glass filled with something besides water later. I mean, honestly, I, I mean, you, you can do what you want with it. If people watch, you know, that, that is what it is. Yeah, man, I'm telling you, my hands against you guys, though. So I think you guys are really good luck. 
when I'm playing against other people and when I'm playing against you, I do not feel like I'm getting the hands. All right, we need some land. So at least we got our harvester down where we could at least sacrifice our blood token to maybe find one. Kill spell coming up. It's good. Premium kill spell go for the throat. So the hope is we get those out of the hand so when Childreds actually do come down. Oh my goodness. All right, yeah, we got to we got to find this land. All right. <laughs> I love it. One copy of each and then they're all out. So if Sheldred comes down right now for him, we're in a little trouble. Just enjoy the Gregory Rat Club. Are right, interesting. All right, we know things are muted and he's not watching because we got the vanity. We're gonna let that stay for a little bit, I think. Because this will destroy mana value. So it doesn't matter if this becomes an 8-8, eight, eight, which is vanity will still kill it. So we're gonna just drop the first Shelly. Make him, yep, Sheldrick Edict. Okay, nice. Maybe we go Virtue of Persistence though to get rid of it. Like it. Gets the value. All right, tap land. We will get a food, so it will give us something to bargain with. So maybe I do prefer that. I really want that sixth land. All right, yeah, we'll kill it so we have something to bargain with so we could start doing our thing. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're, we're, we're cooking on the land now, and if we get up to seven, then we, we could start taking over this game. We haven't seen their uh, virtue of persistence yet. Okay, so now we're doing well. What do you... Cookies and dreams, how much of a madman are you? If I virtue of persistence that, would he kill his own creature? Let's find out. Okay, didn't look like there was any stick there either. We're gonna go shelter it again. We'll beseech the mirror on our food token to find, um... Shoot, I can't even remember the name. Ooh! Ah... Uh, <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker. I was not expecting that. <laughs> All right, needed our counter spell on that one, right? Yeah, let's start getting our value going. I already see the besage you down, so I feel pretty safe. Dominic, thank you so much. You donated and you won something. <laughs> we both get to break out even. <laughs> Another match? Okay, perfect. Filthy anti-meta against the current aggro decks. All right, so I'll click on that. Thank you so much for the donation though. Anybody who donates, again, I appreciate it. Everybody who watches, I appreciate. All of you guys have been just absolutely awesome. And a Lily. Lily's gonna get gross, for sure. I'm tired of your secrets. Okay. Your graveyard. It's more important to kill first. I think they're Veraska, right? Obviously. I have much to accomplish. We have a go for the throat. Bargain. Dormammu, I come to bargain. Do we go value Planeswalker? Do we go value? Copy things. Yeah, we're gonna go here. We're gonna go and kill the other planeswalker. He get he gets a draw off of all of these. Now we have our go for the throat. We'll go and pass the turn now. 
Nice flush hand though. We have nothing in our hand, but at least we have the virtue of persistence to start hitting. Uh... Oh! Cookies and Dreams coming with the hits here. Man, every time I think I'm a little ahead. See, what did we get? We lost, okay. All of our Urtais are gone. Two of our three Make Disappears are gone. So our counter magic is out. All right, we take care of that right away. All right, kill you. All right, so now we're gonna get a Sheldred of our own. I hope, Virtue of Persistence. Uh, let's make sure the triggers go correct here. Your graveyard. Oh, let's just kill Vraska again though, right? Okay. Two Sheldreds is nice. Go and take care of you. Oops. All right, we get the Veraska anyway. Okay, good. So unfortunately though, we're about to sack it all. So we didn't find another bargain mechanic. And that's what we're looking for is we're trying to find that bargain mechanic. Oh, there goes our real Sheldred. We'll get it right back though, but now we need to actually draw something. We could, uh, I think Urtai. Man, they keep drawing the cards though is gonna hurt us. We can't let this flip though. Activate only as a sorcery of eight or more cards in their graveyard. Well, our graveyard, we definitely do. So we gotta go Urtai. Go ahead and kill that. Oh, nice. Yeah, unfortunately that all sacks. Go find something. We want that Sheldred for ourselves. What do we, uh, opponent's graveyard. We could take that out just to find us a card. Oh yes, more value. We're on that value train now. I uh, don't need you. What else can we get? Another Sheldred in our hand. All right, so we have Lethal on board right now. Let's see, I mean, another Beseech. Fun game. Cookies and dreams, no matter what here. This one is absolutely fantastic. I'm loving this. This is a good game right here. Another Sheldred. Just a mana short though, right? Yeah, we'll let you drop. Because we can get it right back. Sheldred of their own. We'll take their Sheldred. Make them sack one. Ooh, interesting. Would love... No, Beseech the Mirror is gonna have to wait right now. Get our Sheldred down. Let's go ahead and pass. Well, Dominic, thank you. If you are taking off, I, holy shnikes. Holy shnikes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, the end. Oh. No! No, God, please, no, 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 no! Man, wait, did you take that end for me? Where, where did you get that from? I have an end, I could beseech the mirror, I could get an end of my own. Make sure not to activate the Shelly. Hmm. Kind of want him to have to sack one of these. I 
I guess Urtai is the way to go. We'll get rid of a tally, so we'll be able to steal the tally for ourselves. Cycle, gain a little life. Make disappear. I don't think that's gonna help us that much. We really need a to uh actually let's see. Four shoot. I gotta check my deck really quick. Um you get a Kaido. Hmm. All right, nothing I really want. Swing in for four. So we'll at least, uh, yeah, we have make this pure mana up. We're just gonna search our library. We, oh, we could just take a go for the, th oh shit, we had lethal, didn't we? No, no, we were one off. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to just take this. A little bit of value for us. So next turn, right? Now we'll start getting things copied. Sheldred's going to get copied. Plus, we're going to get a tally. Either way, okay. This has been just an awesome game. Hype and chat, everybody. How good of a game was this? So Apprentice's Folly, I... Well, I guess it would have been, right? If I, yeah, okay, good call. Yeah, that could have been lethal. Because if I, so if I bargained it, right, you copy the Shelly, they would have had to sacrifice their other creature and then we could have just swung in for lethal. Uh, select cards. Um, exile target, uh, target opponent sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. All right, so this should now be lethal. <laughs> and we're going to go with Tally. GG's. What a fun one. Thank you, Cookies and Dream, for sticking around, letting us do the thing. <laughs> All right. And we swing in with everybody. Oh, you little sneaker. How much land do you have? You don't have four? Sorry, there was so much going on in this game. I, I got a little bit quiet on you all. I win. All right, we still have a code to give away everybody. That was a super fun one. Oh my goodness, what a freaking game that was. Cookies and Dreams, thank you so much. Your deck was awesome. You just kept coming with those haymakers. Beseech the Mirror, Atali. It was that virtue of persistence. That's what was able to just put me over the top on that one. All right, so next challenge. Okay, calling it out. If you have a combo deck in standard. So the ones I could think of off the top of my head, um, there's that mice one where you just make unlimited amount of mice constantly. You have the Simic Cauldron combo deck, and then I would consider that Invasion Ramp deck a bit of a combo, right, that you're going for. So those are the three I know off the top of my head. So if anybody has any combo deck in standard that you wanna challenge me, leave it in the comments. That'll be the next person I play for that. But if not, let's go ahead and hit the ladder. Oh wait, sorry, um, Daniel, or sorry, Dominic, MTG Goldfish, uh, how do I copy and paste that thing? Copy. All right, give me a second. I want to try and bring his deck up. And we said we would go play a game in Mythic because he's top export to Arena. 
He said he's in the top 300 playing this deck, so we want to go ahead and give it a shot. All right, so deck list, get back to my live stream. Uh, but anyway, game. Held on to the Bas yeah, holding on to the Basaju, that would have been the difference in that game for sure. All right, so upload. Let's see what this deck is. Oh, do I not have every card in the deck that I just uploaded? What am I missing? Oh, a fourth wandering emperor. Yeah, I've, I've actually never got a fourth wandering emperor. Let's check it out. Sundown pass, sunfall, lockdown. Okay. All right. Yep. There. Get my get my fourth wandering emperor. Okay, so you actually play that human deck in the High Mythic. So this one is just uh, for fun that you're making me go on the ladder with. All right, we'll, we'll do it. We'll do our game. So Dominic still is here. So this is his deck we're going to go ahead and go with. And again, anybody who's just now joining things like that, we are looking to still give away six packs of Wilds of Eldraine, give you a code on Arena. So let me know if you want a next challenge. If nobody does the challenge, then we'll think of another one. But my challenge is you play a combo deck, I play a combo deck, okay? So the combo decks I mentioned, we have the one that creates all the mice. We have the one that's gonna be the Simic Cauldron and we have an Invasion Ramp one. Uh, when I play the Boros Control, I always get matched against other control decks, okay. We'll try it out. Let's see. Uh, where did it go? Where did it go? The imported deck right there. And we're off. So just letting you know for this stream, I'm going to go for another 50 minutes. I'm going to try and end at 11 uh, Pacific Standard Time just so I could actually eat some breakfast, get my workout in, watch some of the worlds. Uh, is this a keeper? I mean, if we're against aggro, this is a keeper. If we're against control, we're in some big trouble. It's a, yeah, it's a pre, oh yeah. So it's a pre-release code. So if you already got one of those, I don't think you could use them again. So I, if anybody else knows how in the world I get packs for all of you from Arena, let me know. All I could find was pre-release codes. So I spent like, 50 something bucks yesterday just buying a bunch of those all right we're gonna just show them the white for now and we're gonna hold off a bit all right selesnia oh are we gonna have your selesnia oh no enchantments okay oh this is gonna be brutal for them yeah we're still waiting no lockdown yet we're gonna build up for a sunfall i think is what i want Maybe I should drop the red, because right now they're thinking a little control. Eh, this might be worthwhile. No, still want Sunfall. And we'll go ahead and get a mic down to make our Sunfall even better. Yeah, it looks like a good matchup right now. Cody, thank you so much for the birthday wishes. I appreciate it. Thanks for joining today. Yeah, Sunfall is brutal. Like, that's the thing. Sometimes, okay, we were talking a little bit about Tilt earlier. And if you like to play your Selesnya enchantments, your mono white humans, your mono red aggro, when you constantly keep going up against temporary lockdown, Sunfall, Farewell, Depopulate, Wandering Emperor, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. It gets a little oppressive at times. You're like, oh my goodness. They just have every sweeper in the world. All right, so get this Sunfall a little bigger. We'll have a nice 5-5. Five, five. I mean, they had to know that was coming, right? They probably held something back because they still had available mana. So unless they're just sitting there with all ossification effects...
So you could become a pain in my butt. They don't have instant speed interaction though. So let's let them build up their battlefield some more. So we're gonna pass. We'll use this as a blocker. Unless they put something like an audacity on, okay. So you could be a 5-5. Five, five. Now if they go audacity, it'll be able to get in. Nope. Let's go Mike then. We'll just set up for another sunfall. Yeah, I need to find those wandering emperors right now, right? Yeah, I still like just getting a bigger battlefield and I just want some giant incubate tokens to finish them off with. We're just drawn trying to find some emperors, thin out this deck, get a giant sunfall again. All right, we'll go ahead and pass. All right, so now we'll get a, at least a 6-6 six, six out of this. I feel audacity is definitely coming though. Yep. Just throw our chumper in there. Oh, don't play the land yet. Let's gang some life. Yep, let's get another down. Again, just keep thinning this deck. Our life total is nice and healthy. Um, We could play it just to get in. Yeah, let's make them start using their ossification effects. If we get the Wandering Emperor though too, we could get our 2-2 two -two down and we could start flipping these into 3-3 three -three life linkers. So I'll expect ossification right now. They'll double it up. Yep. So there goes our incubate token and at least one of our farm hands. That's fine. We we want the ossifications. Oh, they don't do that. Okay. Um uh, yeah. We'll we'll block. All right. Looks like it's sunfall time again. And then we'll draw after. A 6/6 six, six is fine. We could also create a mite if we wanted. I personally would rather draw. Feeling pretty good about this game. Yeah, right? I mean, I am just drawing lands and sweepers, but we'll have to live with it. What are we, what are we up to? Uh, 11 lands? Yeah, Cookies and Dream, I had a blast on that game. Are you kidding me? That thing was freaking awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness, with these lands. All right, I mean, that's basically all the lands in our deck, so. Unfortunately, we can't get rid of Calyx. They have the threat we cannot answer right now. So we'll drop them down to six. If they have another ossification for it, we obviously have to do our chump block. Unfortunately, too, their ossification is being used for our tokens. Otherwise, temporary lockdown shuts that out. So what do we have? 37 cards. Basically, every land is out of it. All right. So become a 5-5. Five, five. If you don't have the ossification though, I don't see you attacking in. Yep, there it is. Oh. 
Oh, duh, even better. Good call, good call. Nice. Even smarter, because now you attack in and now you copy it. But now we will use our temporary lockdown. I mean, I want to make a might, but the might now does nothing. We're going to make the might, because if we draw Wandering Emperor, we could give it first strike to kill the Weaver. And it never harms anything to do it anyway. But temporary lockdown will at least get rid of their Weaver and it will get rid of all their ossifications. All right, we, we need to actually draw something now, though. We are getting bad. We got another lockdown, too. So we need a hit off of this companion. Oh, ho, ho, ho. yes. Yes! Oh, yes! Just in the nick of time. <laughs> All right, we're undefeated on the ladder so far today, at least. All right, so uh, who is next? I know Dominic said, can we play again? But you already did win, win something. So we'll see if there's somebody else. I, I mean, I am happy to do another match with you. But as far as the last giveaway... Yeah, Terra Sunder is actually what I was kind of expecting you to have as well. All right, we'll now put it out there to anybody in chat. Any challenge you want. We got to give that one more code away today before we end this stream. So anybody out there with a challenge? <laughs> I mean, I know we have, what, 19 viewers going on right now. So anybody out there, let me know in the chat. Let's do that challenge match. Ooh, I got a pack. I'll open it. Not a fan of this card at all. I keep getting drafts too, and this is the card I keep opening. All right. Uh, Monocolor only. Colton, is that you challenging me? Oh wait, uh, show what list again? Why, why do I have a heart in my way? I can't even see. Oh, the Boros list. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The one I did, um, this one? So this was my budget Boros one that I ran. Uh, again, I'm probably gonna make this an October video. I would like to throw a couple budget decks in for people, because I know some people don't have all the wild cards in the world, so. And I'm just the hugest fan of the Virtuoso. I absolutely love them. I pair it with red because Monstrous Rage, Trample. We have the Stolen Vitality when you attack. That's going to be Trample. We have the Ancestral Angler for Trample. So all these things are given our Double Strikers Trample. I throw in the Jawbone just so I have another Double Striker. Obviously, your Virtuoso is the key because that will actually grow. Where the Jawbone, you're just going to get it in that big attack on that one turn and you don't have the follow-up. And then obviously, we have to sit there with different types of protection spells. I put in the Surge of Salvation because I want to actually give it... Um, is this the one? Prevent all... No, that's not the one. Uh, here it is. Protection from colorless or from the color of your choice. If you're going against any type of monocolor deck, you can now swing in for the victory. You just become unblockable. Oh, challenge requirements. All right, so the last one I gave is... Actually, I'll let you choose. So Tilted Cube. We play a budget deck. You can use no rares or mythics except for lands. The rest of your deck has to be common, uncommon. Or you play Jung, Golgari, or Grixis. I do the same. Or number three is you play some type of combo deck. You play the Mice deck. You play the Simic um, Cauldron deck. You play the Inva Invasion Ramp deck. Any of those. Or you tell me what the challenge is. So if you entice me with something else, I'll let you pick. Those are just the three that I thought of that I'm gonna be kind of running with today. I might think of some other ones for two o'clock, but those are the initial ones. So I'm gonna wait on Tilted Cube, see if he wants to do a challenge right now. Still trying to give up that pack. Green it up for Colton. And then again, we'll get back to either, we'll get back to Colton for another game if he wanted to later, but we're gonna start with people giving their first shots. And then we'll run through a second time. Come on, we got 16 people out there. There's got to be some other people who want to do some basic challenge matches. 
six packs. If you open six packs, you will also get a uh, rare wild card, okay? So when you open those six packs. Never hurts the collection. Oh, is there a... Oh, Boris control it. Oh, replay it. Oh, do it a second time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's play it again. All right, so I'll wait on chat. Once I once I see somebody out there willing to actually historic budget. You know, we could do historic. I'll use my standard budget deck, but yeah, that works if you want to do that. All right, so Tilted Cube is going to have his um, historic budget deck ready to go for us. All right. We got our Spirit Companion. Hopefully find our next land. Watch last game. We got absolutely flooded in this game. We're going to get mana screwed. All right. Got to go Companion. Let's find that land. All right. It's going to come in tapped, but... At least it's a land. Ooh, would have loved to get our welcome down right now. All right, so we'll take our red. And we probably are five color invasion or just the five color ramp. Okay, five color ramp. So this is more like the deck that you're seeing currently being run in the worlds right now. Um, I wanna draw cards. Yeah, don't wanna miss my land drops. So that was a little bit more important to me. Uh, still can't get rid of our Stomper because we only have two planes, so we'll go ahead and pass. Unfortunately, our Wandering Emperor can't take care of the Stomper. So I'm thinking Takashio's welcome first and then start getting our value after. Man, we're gonna have some life gang. Um. Oh, Dominant, thank you so much once again. I appreciate it. Got a little super sticker there. Dominic, what would you go with right here? Right, you like the Wandering Emperor. You like to get that thing cooking, but I really want the card draw flowing. We'll start with an attack. Yeah, I'm going to Kashio's Welcome for right now. All right, end the turn. Yeah, definitely I think this could be a tough one. I mean, we'll have to find those Sunfalls if they ever get off one of their herd migrations. I am very intrigued. You have five lands and you do, and you discard herd migration twice. Okay. That's fine, we could get rid of that with our Emperor. So we would love a Plains, okay. Mm. I was gonna say we would love a Plains right now, so I could have laid down arms, Wandering Emperor, their Archangel. I think I want the land. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna insure the Plains right now. Take action. Take our planes. There's no need to play the planes right now. Or is there? Well, this will get one as well. Because I'm going to lay down arms right now. Yeah. All right. So get the planes in play. Now we can lay down arms. They're stomper. So we'll take three damage from them, which is fine. Because the Wandering Emperor will be able to kill it. But now they have herd migration online. They have Atraxa online. A tally. If they run a tally, they have a tally online. Oh boy. We gotta find that sunfall. Yeah, I think I think all the little stickers and things like that actually give back. To be honest, people ask me some questions about monetization, things like that. I don't know a ton of it. <laughs> I mean, my biggest thing is like, if people donate, do things like that, I appreciate it. I can't believe it. But 
I, I'm hoping I just get like, unfortunately, yes, there's those YouTube ads now on my videos that people hate ads, but that is how I get any sort of money, which I actually got $1.99 for my first day on YouTube. So pretty excited about that. I think we have to just start drawing some cards to find a Sunfall. Because Wandering Emperor, because of the Vigilance, there's just nothing we could do. So I'm gonna start looking to try and find that Sunfall. Temporary Lockdown won't do it either. Yeah, we could just be in trouble very soon. I'll be surprised if they play the Herd Migration. They have to be expecting a Sweeper. So we'll do an Emperor, oh boy. We'll do an Emperor just so we could start triggering our Takashio's Welcome. This might be our first loss on the channel today. Tilted Cube, do you have your, your deck up and ready yet? Four, seven. We'll start with a creature just to get our trigger. Hopefully get a Sunfall off. So in case they actually were the type of deck that were running any type of uh, counter, they don't have any blue up. Not gonna do it. That's only four, five. Uh, might as well get rid of the Stomper. Their Stomper is their biggest thing right now. Logging on now. All right, sounds good. Wandering Emperor to get rid of their wrath on their, uh, but then they'll just ossify it. All right, we pass. I'm gonna drop down to 16 and a Leyline Binding. So there goes our Takashio's Welcome. I know it's crazy, but the only thing that's saving me is a Sunfall. So I need to draw. Oh, that happens too fast. Okay, that was a mistake. That was my bad. Yeah, this one's gonna be tough. Try not to miss you. Burn my great. Okay, they do it. They're putting the pressure on now. We got the lockdown for that. See if I can find another Takashio's Welcome. Then we'll lock this down. All right, so we're at 19, we're about to go to nine. We'll be on that one turn clock. Thank you for the birthday wishes. Yeah, so Atraxa is just a nightmare for this deck because if you don't have a Sunfall, that's literally the only thing we could actually win with. Fall back. Okay, we got the Doggo. So we're gonna use that to draw our card. We're gonna draw again. We need a Sunfall. We've seen half of our deck now. All right, so we're not dead. Wandering Emperor will take care of that. All right, so we pass. If we had some more planes out, we would be in better shape. Maybe a lay down arms for it. I've learned much during my All right, minus two right there. Hopefully they don't use their ossification. So on my turn, I could plus it. They're at a nice healthy 74 life. Yep, nope, no luck. Oh, yeah, we're just dead now. Okay, no point of even playing it out. GG's. We had to draw a Sunfall or Bust. We have four of them in the deck, right? 29 cards left, over half of our deck. We just never saw it. All right, so Tilted Cube, I'm gonna go ahead and bring up that challenge match so we could go ahead and get our, our game going. All right, and plus friends. All right, so here is mine, Ace MTG, hashtag 
2-2-7-8-0. So once you find me. Yeah, no, the, the, that Boar's Mythic though, that was, that was fun. Like, I mean, against other control decks because of the Forge, things like that, I, I definitely think it could be a bit of a player. You could do a little something. Yeah, I mean, we like you said though, we got against your absolute worst matchup right there. All right, MTG Hillbilly has got next. So Tilted Cube is going to be up first. All right, so Hillbilly, give you time to prep. So either you play a budget deck with no rares or mythics, only your lands can be rare or mythic, or you play Jung, Gagari, or Grixis, and I play one of those as well, or you play a combo deck that is currently in standard right now, any combo deck that you want. Or, Hillbilly, you try and entice me with a challenge of your own that I like better than my three. Okay, and then you'll be up next. All right, uh, all right, there you go. I'm gonna assume this is you. And challenge. See if this goes through. Hmm. I'm going to cancel it and send it to you. Wait, what, what do you mean I can only challenge one friend at a time? Who else am I challenging? Uh-oh. Sorry, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to wait on that again. I don't I don't know how to do this. So tilted cube, can you send that again? Cause oh. so let's see, you are right here. But it won't let me challenge you, though. It says you can only challenge one friend at a time. I don't think I'm on any other challenge, though. Oh. How, how do I quit a challenge? Sorry, guys. It's a bug. <laughs> All right, I'm, we're, we're just, oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, view challenge, accept. All right, we're good to go. Okay, that worked right away. Not sure why on my end that wasn't. Let's get this going. All right, so remember, the winner now, yeah, I was about to restart, right? So the winner of this game, if he wins, will get that code for those six packs. Everybody who's just been joining lately, thank you for joining my birthday stream. That's it. Hat's going back on for this one, folks. All right, we'll go and keep this. We're on the draw, though. Go and keep. Not, not the creature we want right now, but we could at least put some pressure on. Realistically, we probably should have saved the Swift Spear for turn two where we had some protection up. This deck doesn't run that many, okay. I was just gonna say, we don't run many creatures, so we really have to keep him alive. There was a little stick, so he's got burn. We'll save it once he throws that burn at us. Hopefully he doesn't have two play with fires. We need to get our scry on though too. No lands. Four is already more lands than we want in this deck. Oh, awesome. You're gonna join later too. I know it's, it's late night. Oh, nice. Had the lightning strike as well. 
Uh, ooh, nice one. Keep it coming now. Again, not the creatures we want. We want all our double strikers. All right, you and permanent control gain hexproof until end turn prevent all damage that black or red. All right, got our protection. Nice, double striker, that's what we want. Let's think. We could swing in, obviously, kill his creature, but then we have nothing for our double striker later on. Turning this into a four, that's eight, that's more damage. We're just gonna do it. You know what's funny? So I don't know who out there watches um, the Asian Avenger. He's one of the guys on the podcast for the um, MTG Goldfish. But his streams, I think, start at 9 or 10 p.m. like L.A. time, like Pacific Standard Time. And he streams until like 2 a.m. I mean, he must get a bunch of people, but I am surprised how like late night like that. I guess over in Europe, though, that, that's a little later. All right, liking this gruel aggro. Well, we get first strike, but we're trying to kill, so we'll no block. We need that Virtuoso here. Not gonna do it. Blocks, so now we'll swing in. All right, one more big spell like that though, and we could go for lethal. We should have attacked with the Swift Spear too. That was actually stupid. Could have dropped him to four. Yeah, Krim's awesome. Okay, another good blocker. They could hit us for six. We're still taking it. We'll have to leave blo back blockers next turn. Okay, they have to play with fire. All right, I think that, yeah, that does it for us. GG's. All right, we have it. So, we have, I'm just writing it down. All right, so right at 11 o'clock, uh, no blocks, GG's. Uh, so Tilted Cube will get the packs, and then Dominic will get them. Dominic, what was your screen name again? Got to go back through chat and find that. Library lockdown. Um, sorry, I'm just scrolling through chat trying to find his name again. Well, that's way back there. Wow, look at all these comments. I can't go all the way back there. Dominic, can you just uh, post again what the name is? Birthday hat, let me down. All right, uh, Hillbilly, let's go ahead and uh, do, a, do a challenge match too. Yeah, Tilted Cube, thank you so much for the game. So, so my deck is definitely a high roller deck there, and that's how the Virtuoso is, like... You're either going to hit really big with it or it's going to be a bit of a bust like that was. Post a second. Okay. And Hillbilly, are you still out there? You got a you got a deck for us to do? And we are looking at about another 15 minutes on stream. So I'll take a last request. So Hillbilly, Hillbilly and I will do a game. If anybody else wants a challenge, that would be the last one, or we'll play one last one. You challenge. All right, Hillbilly, before I accept this, uh, what was our deal? What, what decks are we playing? What are my limica limica limitations? Limitations? <laughs> A skelly. All right. So yeah, I'll send those codes to both of you at 11 o'clock, right when we get off stream. So you could go ahead and crack those six packs. Bunny corn. Okay, Trailblazers X there. The bunny corn mono white that we've been talking about. Okay, I'll bring that one up. We'll play that one as my last deck. 
Hillbilly, wh what are we going with? Oh, no rare or mythic? Okay, Boar's Budget is coming at it again. We're one and one with this deck right now. And again, I am, oh yes, my favorite avatar, I think. I'm going with my knight though, which is my second. All right, we're keeping. We have no protection, so we'll see what he's running. We'll probably run the uh, Jawbone Duelist out first. Okay, if I see black, Jawbone first. We know he's got removal. Expect a cut down coming right now. In fact, with this deck, it probably would have been smarter wait until I had a little bit of my protection. Oh! <laughs> All right, we're in trouble right now. Oh, Colton, with the donation. Thank you so much. This goes directly back to the channel, help everything out. Yes, I appreciate it. Every donation today, just to let you know, is all going in to all those packs I bought for all our little giveaways today. So, yeah, I'm in trouble. Hillbilly, were you on the um, podcast earlier today? Nice to meet you, Bend Over. <laughs> I mean, I just saw in the chat Tyler Ferguson, but I was thinking like Tony Ferguson. I see a T in Ferguson. Those of you who watch a little MMA, but just so you know, yeah, I do love to watch MMA. Be watching those UFC fights today. Yeah, second stream starts at 2 p.m. Pacific time. So yeah, that should be 11 o'clock Germany. Hillbilly, I need you to play a creature so I can draw some cards. <laughs> I have everything I need besides protection for my own creatures. Now I got protection. All right, so we ditch, uh, actually, I'm gonna ditch one of these. Ancestral Anger is a little better for us because we could actually draw a card. We have the least exciting game going on ever right now. <laughs> Maybe this won't be a budget deck I showcase. Maybe this deck is garbage. Yep, ditch you again. So we have two protection spells now. Now all we need is a creature. Trailblazing, thank you so much. I appreciate it. I love it. It's got all the little birthday stickers and everything on it, too. Stay away from my hand. He's going to take a protection spell. Because you're sure that he's chock full of all sorts of... Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, wait, it's only a creature? Choose a creature. Holy cow. Boy, I'm telling you right now, we get one creature on this board. We're gonna swing in for the one double striking creature. We're gonna swing in for the victory. Yeah, this is by far the most donations I have ever received. So thank you all so much. And I do wanna say like, I mean, I, I've said it a bunch. Oh, sweet. Uh, how about some card draw? I've said it a bunch, but I am in just so unbelievably thankful for all of you. Since I've started, you guys have been so supportive. Great comments. You constantly leave me comments. I see some other streamers out there who have cut down. Um, let's, let's start here. Resolve. We need to save our protection. So we'll swing in for just the seven. So I see some streamers, they have like 10,000 to 20,000 subscribers and I end up with more comments than they do. You guys are helping my analytics to get my videos out there so much. Oh, you dirty bird. My protection spell does nothing. All right, all right. Hillbilly with the sneakiness. And, and as far as watch time, my subscribers, you are actually really watching the videos, not just doing a quick glance and things like that. And that is the biggest thing. Now that I am technically monetized, as far as actually getting revenue, that is the biggest one. So you guys leaving me comments has helped me push it out. You guys leaving me actual likes. I just can't thank you all enough. We'll do, go ahead and drop off our courage. Thank you so much, Bowl. Well, one, 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 two, and discard this again. Man, we just need some creatures. I was not expecting the Veraska's fall. I was thinking we were gonna be able to protect ourselves. 
At least if we get another haster in, we'll be able to do a lot of damage. Yeah, the, so ever since... Uh, going past. Uh, what do we discard now? Another homestead? So the channel has absolutely blown up. Since Wilds of Eldraine, so it was August 30th to now, basically, we have doubled in size. And obviously, new set comes out. We expect that. Also, I think the other thing is I played really hard right before that Tuesday when the cards were really released to everybody. I wanted to get Mythic. Every single one of my videos, ho oh, ho, we're about to die. <laughs> GG's. <laughs> All right, here he goes. He's about to corrupt me for the second time. Yeah, so I will make a Discord in the future. Oh, he doesn't have the corrupt? No way. I thought for sure he was going to have it. So I was told by some people, make sure you, you get enough subscribers before you start that Discord, because then otherwise it's kind of like a ghost town. But I think we might be getting close to that point. Yeah, I was wondering where his wincon was as well, besides just poison counters. Wow, we threw that away. This is the most boring game ever, though. I'm sorry about that. Not the excitement we had earlier. Just go back and watch some of those matchups. Jeez. All right. We'll go slightly past 11 o'clock, it looks like, because we still have to get that one game on the ladder. Uh, yeah, so Trailblaze and Zach, we've been talking on Discord, and I have my version of Mono White. He has his version. He made a version that kind of combines our two together. Uh, yeah, we'll get rid of one of these, I suppose. I mean, I have all this protection, but it won't matter if he has another Vraska's Fall. That will help. Throw that on there. Expect another cut down. We'll use a monstrous rage on it. No, minus 13, 13. Okay, yes, you could have him. Hurt. Now I've lost most of my card draw. Oh, I'm so stupid, guys. <laughs> Jeez, I'm an idiot. Right, should have protected it because I needed that card draw. Start running these out. Now we're gonna see our, our, okay, there it is. I'm curious though, why you didn't just run that one first? So we done, should have done all our protection spells on the, when we had two, then he, yeah, okay. We're not, we're not playing this the smartest. Thank you for the, oh, I, I wasn't caught up on my chat. I just saw some of those birthday wishes. Thank you, thank you. 12 swamps. Oh, it's virtual. Yeah, Virtuoso deck. And there it is. There, there, there was the hit to the face. Yeah. Hillbilly was like, forget all this. <laughs> all right, nice one. Yeah, that deck just did not perform at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to play with that some more. I know it could pop off, but it, it's kind of like some of those toxic decks where you have to hit just right. All right, let me, one second. I gotta go into our Discord and find our deck. Uh, here's a mix of our decks. Copy, Dex, and upload. Wait, did that say error or did that upload? I think that was an error. Hmm. Can you not upload from... Oh, copy text, there we go. That should have done it. Deck imported. Where's it at? Do I? What what am I missing in this deck? What don't I have? Oh, I don't have a fourth ally line either. Craft all. Okay. All right, so we're gonna hit the ladder. This is gonna be the last one, everybody. So let me bring my chat back up on my side. Again, yeah, Hillbilly, uh, a nice game on your part. Yeah, mine just looked pretty ugly. So just take a peek at what we're gonna go with. We're going mono white. So trailblazing. Loves the cheeky house mouse. 
I normally don't put it in there, but we're going lots of one drops. I told him I'm a huge fan of Anointed Peacekeeper. And what I'm gonna be doing probably next weekend, I'm gonna do a meta breakdown. So I'm gonna talk about what I consider to be the best meta decks. And with Mono White, this actually has your highest win percentage. When you have this in your opening hand, the Anointed Peacekeeper just is able to shut down so much stuff. And then I also am a huge fan of having the Vindicator, especially now with our Mono Red Aggro that we have out there. So we're gonna play one game of the kind of combination between. And he also likes to run the Bunny Corn because with the Adeline, it gets quite big. So, all right, here we go. One last game, and then again, I'm gonna have a three hour break, and then we're gonna jump back on at 2 p.m. Because again, this stream was all about, there's a lot of Europeans out there who've been joining up, and I cannot thank you all enough. I love all the fans everywhere. So, so many in Europe, overnight, while I'm sleeping, that's when I'm getting subs. So, we definitely had a stream where they could make it. Import the, uh, yeah, standard rake, here we go. Yeah, Mono White is, as far as if I want to climb right now, that and Mono Red are the best. I'm more of a Mono White player, and I like its diversity as far as the taxes going against a lot of other decks. All right, so we don't get to go first. We get to go one drop into the Bunny Corn, hopefully into our three right here. All right, here we go. Again, if we get three lands, we know we're, we're starting to cook. We got what we want. Okay, we are happy. Kill spells, so Bunny Corn's probably gonna go. Okay, it looks like control. Yeah, so if we get these Peacekeepers actually down on time, this could really shut them down. The Gagari that got second? Yeah, no, I love the Gagari too. That's my problem right now. I guess it's not even a problem. There are so many decks I am absolutely loving. So we're gonna just attempt the Peacekeeper. Good chance it gets countered right now. Hurtful. We need to stop a Memory Deluge though. That is for sure. We're going to another Peacekeeper. Wandering Emperor, okay. Deluge has got to go. Make them use their march to get rid of my Peacekeeper before they could draw their cards. Well, let's see. How much will this cost them, though? You know, I, I don't want the Sweeper. Does this cost you may blah, 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 blah. Exile target, artifact creature, mana value. So that will actually get rid of my Vindicator. So I don't like that. So yeah, let's get rid of March. We'll go there. All right, we pass. Because they still have the Wandering Emperor, so they could get out there 2-2 or they could exile my bunny corn, so. Guards, to me. We should be expecting a deluge right now. May your blade strike true. Definitely not the hand we would have liked to start with. All right, we're gonna go Vindicator. We're gonna force them to bring up their Sweeper. We pass. No point attacking in right now, right? We, we could double attack and we could actually get rid of the Wandering Emperor or both of their creatures. The problem is they would kill our Peacekeeper and then our Vindicator is gonna go down to their march. Of course, if they just drew their Sunfall, it all doesn't really matter. Yep, Sun. Don't. All right. Well, we're gonna put it all out again. Yeah, definitely a rough start for us. And they got the Void Ren. Yeah, we're, we're toast. There's nothing we can do here. Let your blade do the talking. All right, everybody, because we are about to hit 11 o'clock. I'm going to do something I never do, which is going to be hit the concede button. <laughs> right, or we're going to bow out on this one. 
Yeah, so Pain choosing the Wandering Emperor. So the only problem I had with that is they wouldn't have been able to exile my creature. They wouldn't be able to actually uh, play one of their own creatures. The problem is, as soon as they untapped, they just march my Peacekeeper and then I'm in, I'm in a bad spot. Yeah, we're attacking in just so they could kill us sooner. <laughs> Yeah, top deck. There, there's not even a top deck we could even get in this situation. We could get a Vindicator. We could get a Vindicator as our best top deck. Then all they have to do is wait for us to attack, and then they're just going to kill us that way. So. All right, we didn't hit the concession button. All right, yeah, I appreciate everybody who leaves a like on this one. We're going to go ahead and end the stream in about five seconds here. Once again, Yes, I still had fun, I always have fun. I'm playing Magic, right? We're out here playing our game we like. So this stream was all about, we hit a thousand subs. It's because of all of you, I appreciate it. I'm gonna send out those codes, those rewards. If you wanna play me again, you could come back in three hours. I have two more packs of codes to give away. Also, when I post the next video, not this one, okay? So when we actually post the next live stream, leave a comment, okay? I will let you know what that comment is. And on Monday, that's when I'm gonna give away my big grand prize, which is 24 packs from our previous four standard legal sets, okay? So if you're somebody who already has the whole set, maybe don't leave a comment. I'm really hoping it's for all of you subscribers out there who maybe you don't have a whole lot of wild cards. You don't have every single deck you want. 24 packs will help you out at least a little bit, right? You're getting 24 rares and mythics. Plus, when you open up 24 packs, that means you're going to be getting four of those rare wild cards as well. So that's kind of the hope, helping you build yours as well. Hopefully getting a little bit of that community involvement and this was a little bit of fun. I had a lot of fun. Hopefully my next live one in a couple hours is even better. Have a little bit more energy for all of you. But thank you so much for joining. And with that said, we're gonna go ahead and sign out. And remember, you're all an ace.